Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit voiceover while recording in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video or this technique is really meant for long pieces of narration, whether it be a commercial or an audiobook or anything where you have to talk for long periods of time and edit them later. It can really be a pain when you save many performances one after another and you have to go back and pick the best one, even though you might know when you're recording it. So with this method, we're just going to choose the last takes as our keepers, or we can create takes with a different method, as I'll show you as well. So let's dig in. So the track over here already set up with my vocal mic, input monitoring turned on, and it's in record. And the talent is ready to perform his part. But if I do it the normal way, where it just goes one after another, it's going to be like this. Going to record. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. And if we didn't like that, he would do it again. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. And if we did like that, he could move on. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Again. I can produce my own voiceover demo. And then later on, we have to go back and pick the best performance, whether it be this one or this one or this one or this one, and we have to listen to it all. It's very time consuming when you're dealing with long passages. So I'm going to show you a method to make this easier. Let's go to the Actions menu and create some custom actions. Show Action List. Let's create a custom action over here, a new one. And we'll name it Bad Take. And we're going to use this when our take is bad and we don't want to keep it. So we'll start off by stopping the transport. Let's type in Stop. And we'll choose Stop, Delete All Recorded Media. So it's going to delete the take or the performance. Then we want it to start recording again. So we can keep the flow going. So we'll type in transport record and choose transport record right here and drag that over. Now, if we trigger this custom action, it's going to stop and delete the pass and go back into record so we could do it again. So let's give it a keyboard shortcut right here. And we can choose any keystroke we want. But I'm going to choose Control B for bad. So if I hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to stop and delete and then record again. So let's give it a shot. Going to record. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. And if I didn't like that, I'll hit that keystroke as a bad take and it starts again. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. And now if I like it, I need a different custom action. So let's go back and create another one. New custom actions. And this time I'm going to call it a good take. But in order to separate it and start at the end, we want to first pause. So we'll type in pause, choose transport, pause. Then we're going to stop. But this time we're going to save recorded media. And then finally, go back into record. Right here. So now we'll give this a keyboard shortcut right over here. And for good take, I'll choose Control and G. But again, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer, even a MIDI note. So we'll save this and close it. So now if we like the performance, we can trigger the second custom action, the good take. So let's clear this and start again. Go into record. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. Let's do that take again with the first custom action. It starts again. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. And if I like that one, hit the second custom action and we can record right after it. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Let's do that again. I can produce my own voiceover demo. That's a good take. Move on. 
Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. Let's do it again. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. And that one was good. And we can move on. But do you really want to do your own brain surgery? And we can stop when we're done. Now we just kept all the keeper takes, all the last ones we performed. So we don't have to go back and listen to all of it. We just have the keepers. And if we want to make the space a bit tighter, just switch it to ripple editing, select it all, create a time selection, and cut using cut time selection to get rid of those spaces. Now we have one good performance. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey, but do you really want to do your own brain surgery? Now, if you did want to keep takes, we can do that as well, adding another custom action to the process. Let's go back to the custom actions, and let's duplicate the good take right here by copying it, and that duplicates it. Let's edit it, change the name to next take, and let's delete the pause. So it'll go back instead of pausing at that moment and record it again with a new take. So remove this, save it, give this its own keyboard shortcut. I'll use Control N. So now we can trigger that custom action when we want to keep the performance, but still make another take. So let's give it a shot. We'll start off with a bad take we don't want to keep, then a good take we do want to keep, but do another, and then finally, a take we like. So we'll keep two takes on each, but he's going to perform it three times, like this. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. Let's do it again. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. That was good. Let's do a new take. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. Let's move on. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Let's do it again and not save it. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Let's save it, but a new take. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Let's move on. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. Let's do it again. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. Let's save that. But do you really want to do your own brain surgery? One more take. But do you really want to do your own brain surgery? And that's pretty good. Now we can choose the different takes we prefer. Let's say we like this one, this one, and this one. Use the keystroke to crop to all of them. Alt Shift T on the PC or Option Shift T on the Mac. So we just have the keepers and let's select the spaces and delete them. And then we just have the pieces that we want. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey, but do you really want to do your own brain surgery? So that method works as well. If you want to keep different takes from each section, or just delete the ones you think are bad. Personally, I use the first method, where I only keep the last performance, which makes it a lot easier and saves a lot of time, like this. Go into record. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. Let's do it again. So folks say to me, hey, I can record at home. That was good. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Let's do it again. I can produce my own voiceover demo. Moving on. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. One more time. Well, maybe you can carve a turkey. Moving on. But do you really want to do your own brain surgery? That was a good take. And just like that, we just have the keeper performances. The last performance we did. Which makes editing it or comping it a lot easier. As I said, it's really useful for long passages, like commercials or narration, or especially for audio books. We can wind up with hours and hours of voiceover to go through. With this method, 
we just keep the last performance. So that's pretty much it. That's editing voiceover while recording in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!